Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial from SD Motion. Recently, Microsoft Excel has been introduced many useful functions which is very helpful and will make our job easier. However, those functions are only available for Microsoft 365 subscription version. So, I am making videos on how to use these functions for those who are still using old Microsoft versions. In this way today I am going to show you how to add new vStack function into your Excel applications. vStack function is not a built-in function in Excel, but rather a term used to describe the process of vertically stacking two or more sets of data on top of each other. This is commonly done when you need to combine two sets of data with the same number of columns into a single table, such as when you are merging data from multiple sources. In this example worksheet, I have two worksheets where I wish to combine both worksheet data into single worksheet. So it will be easier for me to analyze the data. I add a new worksheet to combine both worksheet data into a single worksheet. Now, I will copy the header row and paste it into the new worksheet. Next, copy the multiple columns of data and paste them into the new worksheet. Stacking data manually is a complex task if you will have big data. But, with the vStack function, we can do it in a second. As you can see, I don't have the vStack function in my Excel version. Now I am going to add the vStack function to my Excel version. First, go to File, then open Excel Options. From the Excel Options window, click the Add Ins option. Next, click on the Go button and then click again the browse button. Select the vStack add-ins file. I have attached this file in the description to download it. Once you choose the file, ensure you have checked the add-ins file. Let us check now whether we can access the vStack function. See, now the function is showing me to access. As mentioned earlier, we must select the same number of column to stack. So for the first array argument, I will select my first worksheet data, where I have seven columns selected. Comma, again select the worksheet 2 data as the second array. Make sure you have selected the same number of columns. In my case it should be seven columns. Now hit enter. The formula is working perfectly. If you are using Excel 2020 or older version click Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter key to generate the array formula. I hope this video is useful for you. If you wish to like my video put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.